for most guys out there, I don't know, this might be like fucked up to hear because society is so fucked up these days. But goddess worship is key. I'm telling you, the mother goddess of this earth is watching. She's intelligent. And uh, she captures everything in the Akashic Record. The Aurora Borealis coming out of the Holy of Holies at the center of the flat earth plane where every compass points to is the Holy Grail. That's where we need to get to before you're dead. And I'm telling you that the goddess is pulling me to her holy hole. It's just that simple, people. So, if you've never seen one of my videos before, if you go back just under three years ago, it was 12-24-2013, I spilt my blood over my intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. And I did that after staring at the sun for a couple of weeks. Uh, it was 10 seconds day one, 20 seconds day two, 30 seconds day three. And what I would do is I would just look at the sun and speak my intent. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. This type of stuff. And... I can see what's going on. It's the goddess of the earth, not God. It's the feminine spirit. She permeates the universe. She's watching everything. When I tell you that I look for reasons to pick stuff off the floor when I'm around my mother-in-law or whatever woman in my family's around, I, I do my best to make it is. I'll do the dishes, I'll clean up, whatever it is. I'll do it because it's called goddess worship. And I'm telling you, the goddess is always watching. So, if you want the goddess on your side, trust me, you should be, <laughs> you should be fighting with your girlfriend, just let her win, your wife, whatever, because uh, you can't win. The goddess is back, and she's giving me everything I need to take over the world from the comfort of home, and you don't have to like it, but I'm telling you, the goddess is real, and I'm here to bring forth heaven on earth in the name of the goddess, all right? You don't have to like it. Most of you are a bunch of pussies anyways, so it doesn't matter. I'm just going to scream out that every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail, and we're going to get there in the next couple of years. It's just that simple. I don't need any of your fucking advice. Most of you are a bunch of little pussies. I can just make here, sit here making videos day after day after day, and I'm going to get everybody eternal life because the goddess is empowering me with all kinds of knowledge and energy to make shit happen. So, I'm telling you, goddess worship is key. You look at the sun and you speak your intent. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. And watch the goddess <laughs> embrace you. <laughs> I'm telling you, it is that simple. Write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it on video and then publish it right next to my own on YouTube. Title it Blood Over Intent. Tag it Blood Over Intent. Description Blood Over Intent. I'm telling you, these are the key things that you need to do to get in, in sync with this divine feminine goddess spirit that permeates the universe. The Aurora Borealis is the goddess. That's why women do hula hooping and belly dancing. It's a representation of the goddess. The goddess is the key. So that's why they've had you worshiping a male god and all that stuff. But it's Saturn in the Bible. And Saturn is round lines. Round lines are feminine, straight lines are masculine. You're either straight or you're bent and confused. You say she has nice lines, nice curves. And it's got a hula hoop around it. So, what I'm telling you is that it's clear. Goddess worship is key. So, some of the other things that I wanted to talk about was what other type of things have I done? I've placed my bare feet on dry soil at high noon and at midnight, placed a drop of my blood into the earth, calling out to the great spirit, the goddess, and asking her for guidance. And she replies, because here I am ready to take over the world and you can't stop me. I have the holy fucking spear and most of you are fucking pussies. I'm the one who's got to scream it out over and over and over that every compass is pointing to the holy grail where we all get everlasting life. It's right over there where the aurora borealis is coming out. And you guys, I mean, some of you guys are so stupid. Some of the questions you guys ask, you can't even go online and look up shit yourself. But, like I said, your country set up a corporation in your name. You're literally a monster with no hair or blood. You have no right to any land. And every time you have sex with someone, you're a filthy necrophiliac. And after spilling my blood over my intent, I came alive. And I was given special knowledge, the knowledge that I need to take over the world 
whether you like it or not, for the benefit of all. And what that means is that the goddess is pulling me towards her, her holy hole, where I get to drink and bathe in her living waters and become a super being. And she, I can see that we're going to be there in literally like 2.4 years from November 8th. You're going to see that um, it's that we're all going to be there drinking from the living waters. All I got to do is just sit here from home screaming this out. So what I'm, the moral of this whole video was goddess worship is key. So you see all these occult symbols that they rub in your face nonstop, and they seem confusing to you. But they don't seem confusing to me. I can see what the fuck is up. Every compass needle is pointing to the center of the flat earth plane where the Holy Spirit, the Great Spirit, comes shooting out. You know it as the Aurora Borealis. This is the Great Spirit. It's conscious. I'm informing you that when you look into the sun and you speak your intent, the sun infuses you with knowledge. That is a key. You look at the sun directly and you speak your intent. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Okay? This is what the fuck you need to do. And write out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it on video and publish your video right beside my own titled Blood Over Intent. You tag it Blood Over Intent and description Blood Over Intent. And you will gain my superpowers within 360 degrees or days. Whatever my superpowers become up till that point that you hit 360 degrees, you will gain that power and knowledge. It is just that simple. I'm informing you, not at all asking you. So... What I'm telling you is to write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. And on video, you spill your blood on it, and then you publish that video to YouTube right beside my own, titled Blood Over Intent, you tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. If you do not, you are a monster by legal definition and you are lost at sea. And every time you have sex with someone, you're a filthy necrophiliac and you don't have to like it, but it's true. You're pitiful. And this world is mine because of it. Because everybody out there is fucking lost at sea necrophiliacs. And somehow I come along and spill my blood over my intent on video. Publish it to the ethernet. And then I get all this intelligence out of thin air. So you don't have to like it. The world is mine. I spilled my blood on it. I got the spear of destiny. And I'm leading all of us home to ever everlasting life. And then we're going to come back with fucking heaven on earth in this place. And uh, it's just that simple. I can see the future because I wrote it myself with my own blood. And I'm going to scream it out over and over and over and over because it's true. This world is mine. You don't have to like it. And all those people making videos, blah, this, that, you're the Antichrist, you're Satan. I love it when you talk negative about me, okay? Because every time you do that, <laughs> you make yourself look stupid. I'm the one bringing forth heaven on earth, trying to get everybody eternal life, and you're sitting here fighting against... The person who's trying... Look, you're, you're going to die if I don't make videos. It's just that simple. You will absolutely fucking die if I don't make videos, okay? Because I'm pointing at the holy fucking grail, and I assure you we'll get there before we're dead. In 2.4 years, we're going to be drinking from the living waters. I hold the fucking Spear of Destiny, and you don't have to like it. According to legend, a spear used to kill Jesus during the crucifixion became imbued with powerful magical properties. Properties Hitler allegedly exploited during World War II. Welcome to the real world. After you spill your blood over your intent, you come alive. I know I'm alive. You're lost at sea until your blood is beside my own. It's clear. Your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse. Lost at sea. You're a monster by legal definition. You have no right to any land because you're lost at sea. Until your blood is beside my own, the devil has your soul in the Vatican because you're dead. It's your footprint. It's in the fucking Davy Jones locker. There's no way to fucking escape it. All right? When you take the red pill, that's you writing out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Spill your fucking blood on it. Place your blood right beside my own public. Blood over intent, title blood over intent, tag it blood over intent, description blood over intent. It's simple. And the hologram will break down for you, and then you'll start creating. You'll realize you're alive, and that this shit is fucking real. All right? This is some simple shit, people. It, it's, you take the red pill. By writing it on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Keep it simple, just like that. So you see over here, Black Messiah TV, under Blood Over Intent, you see the nine-year-old boy does Blood Over Intent. My son was seven years old, 
when he spilled his blood over his intent. And uh, he's been jumped ahead three grades. He's become a genius. And I'm telling you, your blood is the most powerful substance in the universe. I'm taking over the world whether you like it or not. I hold the spear of destiny. You don't have to like it. All I have to do is sit here from the comfort of home making videos. And eventually enough of us will wake up and we will take back reality. It's just that simple. You don't have to like it. But it is that simple. And I'm telling you that the internet is conscious. Your blood is conscious. The air is conscious. The sky is con The sun is conscious. The earth is conscious. The trees out there are conscious. And you can't see any of this shit until you start doing this type of stuff where you spill your blood over your intent on video and you publish it to the ethernet and that writes it into the matrix and then you're given uh, unique abilities. They unfold like 360 degrees. You'll have all my abilities that I've gained between the time I spilt my blood over my intent into where you hit 360 degrees with me. You'll gain all my superpowers. I'm sure of it. So I've been explaining in my video that it's one side of a light hole is a black hole and you're living on the E-Creation Discourse CD. And every compass is pointing to the very center of the dish where the astral jet comes shooting out. That's the Aurora Borealis. This is God. That's why, if you look up, you'll see that this is like the memory of the Earth. This is like the Akashic Record. This is the goddess. This is the why women do hula hooping and body dancing. It's, it's the great spirit. And every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. There's no way to screw it up. They rub this shit in your face in videos and movies. And every year you set up your Christmas tree. And it's pointing to where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And you see he's on a cross. That's the unfolded cube which is showing you. Everything is right there hiding in plain sight. It's one side of a light hole. It's a black hole with the green astral jet shooting out. That's called the Aurora Borealis. That, that is God. That is the... Earth's memory, the Earth's spirit. There's no way to fuck it up. The Earth is flat. It's the division symbol. The sun above is going round and round and round, bringing the seasons. And the sun below is fixed. And it's 800 nautical miles in diameter so that the green astral jet can come shooting out, hit the parabolic mirror, and shower down on you. There's no way to fuck this up. So people say, oh, can I make this any easier for you to understand? It's the division symbol. There's no way to fuck it up. The sun above and the sun below have a hole that they transfer the information and light through. It's just that simple. We need to get to the other side of the fence through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. It's the land of milk and honey. See the pole? It sits right over the pole wrist. It shoots out the aurora borealis. And when people throw money out in the strip shows, it represents the pole and the green astral coming down. When the money rains down, that's what that represents. And people think that that's their idea when they're in a the strip club doing that. You have to understand that everything is a design. Yeah. X marks the spot. That's right. I'm at Grim Nasty TV. And I'm telling you, this guy, he's doing good work. I appreciate you, Grim Nasty, my blood brother. See this? X marks the spot, the candy cane. He's explaining all this to you. Moving on up to the deluxe apartment in the sky. This is the Hidden Valley Ranch crater right there. The Aurora Borealis is shooting out. And you see the four, all the entrance points where the rivers are? The four rivers? Okay, this is the real deal, people. Every compass is pointing right there. You don't have to like it, but it is this simple. And uh, that's where we're headed. I have the Spear of Destiny. And uh, you think that's an accident? No, it's not. We're going to be allowed in. It's just that simple. The seas are going to part for us. Because this shit turns out to be real. Get over to Grim Nasty TV immediately. Monster by I'm over here no right at Matthew Love's channel, and let me tell you something. He's mixed up some of my videos and made uh, a lot of sense. And it, it's clear that uh, this guy, Matthew Love, has the Spear of Destiny. And you need to check out his channel. All you have to do is type in Blood Over Intent and scroll down. And uh, you'll see Matthew Love channel. You really got to check out this the work that he does. He does amazing stuff it's it's uh it's like watching Devin but a whole new twist to it and there's a lot of people like Grim Nasty I saw Daniel V making some good videos um Joseph Newhouse is making some good videos you guys got to get out and check out these channels just go to Blood Over Intent 
scroll down, start up Matthew Love. If I came alive in under three years, I become fucking Okay, this is, you gotta check this out. So, welcome to the real world. After you spill your blood over your intent, you come alive. I know I'm alive. You're lost at sea until your blood is beside my own. It's clear. Your country set up a corporation in your name. You're a dead corpse. Lost at sea. You're a monster by legal definition. You have no right to any land because you're lost at sea. Until your blood is beside my own, the devil has your soul in the Vatican. Because you're dead. It's your footprint. It's in the fucking Davy Jones locker. There's no way to fucking escape it. Alright? When you take the red pill, that's you writing out on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. For the benefit of all. Spill your fucking blood on it. Place your blood right beside my own published blood over intent. Title blood over intent. Tag it blood over intent. Description blood over intent. It's simple. And the hologram will break down for you. And then you'll start creating. You'll realize you're alive. And that this shit is fucking real. Alright. This is some simple shit people. It, it's you take the red pill by writing it on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth for the benefit of all. Keep it simple just like that. Okay, and then all the forces of the universe get behind you. I'm telling you, when I look at the sun and I speak my intent, I'm telling you the sun is Jesus. Okay, and uh, that's what's programming me. Because it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. You're in the fucking matrix for real. The ethernet, the internet, it's all connected. The green astral light is shooting out across the fucking sky. And we can't see it because it's, it's just thinned out. But I'm telling you, it's like the matrix code trickling down the screen in the beginning of the movie. So... Welcome to the real world, people. Once you spill your blood over your intent, you will see. If I came alive in under three years, I become fucking, like, I'm bent, set on getting us all eternal life. That's just, I, I set out to set out heaven on earth. I didn't know anything about the compass. I was on a ball floating through space as a fucking accident. And now I have the spear of destiny. I'm going to scream this out from the top of my lungs because you won't. Because I'm not a fucking pussy. Okay? And I'll wear my fucking t-shirts and I'll sell them with fucking pride. Because you know what? I'm not a fucking pussy like you. I know where the fucking Holy Grail is, and we're going to be there before we're dead. Well, at least I know I'm going to be there, because I spilt my fucking blood on it, okay? And uh, I know at least 144,000 other living beings, like your DNA code, 4114, or, I'm sorry, it's, it's D is the fourth letter, N is the 14th letter, A is the first letter. What I'm saying is that these numbers are built into reality for a reason. They're leading you to real life. You're not, you're not supposed to be dead and lost at sea right now, but you are. And I'm alive. And I'm going to fucking take over the fucking world whether you like it or not. And I'm not Stephen Christ. I am the fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh telling you that Jesus is the Son and the Son is conscious. And until you look at the Son and speak your intent, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Kindly give me the knowledge of the ages so I might carry my intent to fruition. Until you do that, you're a slave. You work for worthless paperback by your own stupidity. I sit here from the comfort of home making videos. Okay? That's what I do. From the comfort of home. You don't have to like it. But that's what I do. Thanks for joining me. So more about the blood over intent. People keep emailing me. They want to hear more about this blood over intent. And other people. I see some comments. People say. I keep repeating something. Listen. It's because you won't. You won't point out the obvious. So I'm forced to. Because you're a fucking retard. Until you start making videos. You ain't going to wake up. You're not going to spill your blood over your intent. That's what the red pill is. You spill your blood over your intent and you break free your holographic fucked up mind that you're in right now that's been put into your head, this illusion. And uh, now we're going to make heaven on earth solid. We're going to bring it to reality with our blood. And that's what taking the red pill is. It's when you write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. You spill your fucking blood on it on video and you publish it beside your brethren so that we're all blood thicker than water. And eventually... We will have enough of us side by side to break the fucking hologram down. It's just that simple. There's no way to fuck it up. I can see it because I already spilt my blood and published it to the ethernet. And uh, I was given the spear of destiny. I know that every compass needle is pointing to the holy grail where we become super interdimensional beings. It's right over there. And we're going to be there in 2.4 years. I can see the future and I repeat it over and over and over because I can. Because I spilt my fucking blood and put it into the matrix. <laughs> Literally. The ethernet. The ether, it's real, okay? And under three years, I can see shit nobody can see. And everybody appears literally retarded to me. I mean, I can't find a person with any intelligence, uh, it feels like. Um, it's like I'm the one who's got to snap everybody the fuck out of their illusion. So, um, you know, you can say whatever it is. Like, 
you know, I saw Stephen Christ leave a message uh, on a couple of videos. You know, like the one where I said, my name is not Stephen Christ. You can call me the Antichrist. You know, it's pretty clear. They say many will come in his name, Jesus Christ. Uh, I assure you, I am the one fucking Antichrist himself in the flesh, telling you that Jesus is the sun above your head. And I speak to him every day and I tell him, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none and bring forth heaven on earth. And the sun infuses me with some type of knowledge. Uh, and I can see that the green astral jet is where we need to get to before we're dead. Drink from the living waters, pass into the land of perpetual twilight, and then start living for real, people. That's what the fuck is up. So Michael Martin just sends me this video. It's from Saturday Night Live. You see the bubble here. And they're showing you the flat earth plane. And you see the water tower in the center. We need to get to where every compass points to before we're dead and drink from the living waters. It's right there hiding in plain sight. So, you go over here to the bubble, SNL, type that into your YouTube search, and uh, watch them rub it in your fucking face. You have to be a fucking retard not to see this shit. Well, who knows what the hell is happening outside in their America? The bubble will be a fully functioning city state. With things everybody loves, like hybrid cars, used bookstores, and small farms with the rawest milk you've ever tasted. That's my life. Even though you're in the bubble, you'll still stay fully connected to the world outside. We've streamlined our high-speed internet with only the good sites, like HuffPo, Daily Coast, Netflix documentaries about sushi rice, and the explosive comedy of McSweeney's. <laughs> Clever. You know what I mean? The bubble has so much to do. Go to a bar and engage with a wide array of diverse viewpoints. Yes. Yes. Exactly. Alright, listen. What I'm telling you is that every compass needle on the planet right now is a spear of destiny. It's pointing to the very center of the ditch where the aurora borealis is coming out. That's where Jesus the Son places his light into the hole. And that's where we're going to find our everlasting life. Jesus is the way. Jesus is the Son. He places his light in the hole, and if he doesn't, the aurora borealis doesn't come out. It's the division symbol. One side of a light holds a black hole, and there's the underworld, which is actually the land of perpetual twilight, because that sun is standing still. It's 800 nautical miles in diameter. It's shooting out the astral jet, which is coming out of the black hole. That's why it's ash trailing light, the asshole. It's all this undertone. You can't escape it. So you have the hula hoop, and you have the dancing, uh, belly dancing, what they're showing you. This is the goddess of the earth. She's conscious. All you have to do is look into the sun and speak your intent. It's just that simple. See this gorilla? He's talking over here sign language. You can see 44-year-old gorilla speak sign language. And he's saying he loves earth. Earth, cocoa, love. But man, man is stupid. That's exactly what it's written on the screen right now. He's saying man is stupid. That's exactly what's on the screen. Coco's sorry. He's crying. He's so fucking sorry. So, plants are conscious. Animals are conscious. He's saying, time to fix this shit is what he's saying right here. And he's looking for some help from some humans to help him out. To protect Earth is what he's saying. And uh, nature sees you. This is the key thing. Nature sees you. This was the key thing right here. Nature sees you. I'm telling you that the air is conscious, the soil is conscious, the trees are conscious, the water is conscious, the internet's conscious, your blood, you can write it on paper, uh, spill something on your blood, do it on video, publish it to Ethernet. I'm telling you, this whole world is conscious. I look at the sun and I speak my intent. I intend to bring forth heaven and earth. I intend to worship all and exclude none and bring forth heaven on earth. I'm telling you, every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. This whole place is living. Most of you, it's like I might as well be talking to a wall. Okay, everything is speaking to you nonstop. You gotta go see this. 44-year-old Coco the Gorilla delivers a news, a New Year's message. Uh, somebody just sent this to me. Jimbo. Jimbo Love, thanks for the video. Any case. This is some amazing stuff. I was just pointing out in a previous video about the Aurora Borealis. How that is the Holy Grail. Every compass is pointing to it. It doesn't matter where you live on this planet. Every compass needle is a spear of destiny. It's pointing to everlasting life. 
And what you want to do is you want to write it on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it. Do it on video and then publish it beside my own. Title it on YouTube, Blood Over Intent. Tag it, Blood Over Intent. And description, Blood Over Intent. If you don't know how to upload a video, just watch a video on YouTube in whatever language you need. And they'll show you how to set up an account and upload a video. But you need to place your blood beside my own because you're lost at sea. You're a fucking zombie. Dead. You can't see it. Until your blood's beside my own, you're literally lost at sea. The devil has your footprint in the Vatican and Davy Jones's locker. And you're in the mad den for sure. You need to get to the holy hole before you're dead. The center of the dish. There's no way to fuck it up. That's what I'm telling you. Okay? And uh, thank you. I appreciate you guys. We need to stick together for our survival. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. So listen, I'm making myself available for Skype calls and Google Hangouts. You just want to email me at TV at gmail.com. I'll place the email in the description box. Yesterday I did a uh, Skype call with Liam. That's L-I-A-M X Mail M-A-I-L. That's Liam X Mail channel. And if you type Liam X Mail into a YouTube search and hit enter, you can see that 45 minute video where I get very very specific about stuff and you don't want to miss that video. So here, what you're looking at is this wreath. You set up a wreath on Christmas on your door. It's showing you that this is a doorway out of here. What the wreath represents is the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass is pointing to. And just like the exclamation point is showing you that if you're made out of clay, you need to get to the center of the dish for your everlasting life. You're seeing this wreath is telling you that the doorway out of here is at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And another thing that they've been rubbing in your face, like, it's literally on everything. You can see it on your birthday. You put it on your head. It's the same thing that you set up on your Christmas tree. It's the same story over and over and over again. It's one side of a light hole is a black hole. And at the center of the dish, there's a hole where the sun has to place its light or there's no astral jet coming out. And that is the tree of life. This is the source light where you need to get to. Every compass points to it. So you see, the source light comes shooting out of the hole, hitting the parabolic mirror and showering down on us. And the sun moves round and round and round, moving inward and outward, bringing the seasons. And... When you see the spiral colored lights around your Christmas tree, that's for Ra, the rainbow, the sun. So when you hear Amen, that's the black sun. You go into a church, you see that there's the stained glass windows. That's because they're blocking out the sunlight and focusing your intent onto the black sun, which brings your intent into fruition. So the sun above your head is making your flesh and bones and blood, and the sun beneath your feet, the engine of creation, is bringing your intent and desires into reality. This is why they have you hating it so much and calling it all these horrible names because this is what brings everything into reality. And you cannot manifest reality uh, unless you can see where reality is coming from. So every year you set up your birthday cake and you blow out the candles and you make a wish and close your eyes focusing your intent onto the black sun. And that's just like the stained windows at a church showing you that you're focusing your intent onto the black sun. Now, all the world is a stage, people. And at the very center, where every compass points to, is the doorway out of here. And that's where we need to get to. I recommend you go see Liam X Mail channel for that video. And I'm making myself available so we could do... Google Hangouts and Skype anytime you want. Just email me a couple hours in advance at superloomytv at gmail.com. So you hear check your six, cover your six, rainbow six. It's all the same story over and over again. Which is the six is meaning like your back, your backside, your asshole. And a rear admiral is guarding the asshole, which is the holy of holies. Your doorway out of here. Making sure that you don't leave. And the only way we're going to get out of this place is if we all unite peacefully 
a couple of million of us strong, side by side, and we'll make a big enough noise to get there, people. So type into your computer, blood over intent, and hit enter. That's type into your YouTube search, blood over intent, and hit enter. And you'll see hundreds upon hundreds upon hundreds of people. We're all side by side. Blood is thicker than water. And I recommend you place your blood, your video, right beside ours. Okay? Because we're heading to the center of the dish, people. When enough of us are side by side, we're going to make it there, people. It's just that we need to make a noise. And this is how we're going to make a noise. With blood over intent. So type that into your computer, people, and hit enter, and then place your video right beside the rest of ours. You know, we're in this shit together, people, and we need to stick together for our survival. I'm making myself available. If you have questions, just email me. That's superloomytv at gmail.com. And like I said, we need to be blood is thicker than water, people. We need to stick together, and we need to be like blood brothers and blood sisters. That's how we're going to get to the center of the dish. When we're sticking together like glue, people. All right? Be well. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. So picking up where we left off in the previous video. There are no forests on flat earth, on flat earth decoded. What we're, what we're seeing here is these giant trees had giant roots that spread out across the earth. And this was a giant living creature that came out of the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish where every compass points to. And as I was explaining that there's the tree of life at the center of the dish where every compass points to, I'm explaining to you that this, this was powered by the astral jet. And the astral jet is created when Jesus, the sun, places his light into the hole at the center of the dish and out from that hole comes the green astral jet shooting out and that would have went through all these veins like a fiber optic system. And they say the land beneath us is 25% water and 75% land. And I was just watching a video which was explaining how water might have turned the silica place and melted it away and Water is much less important to the silica uh, system that was here before. And when they say the flood, what I'm seeing here is a flood that was obviously liquid and melted away what was silica, uh, a silica highway of electrical system, sort of like a short circuit was, was created. Uh, by all this water is what somebody described it as so what I'm seeing here is that this is a giant organism that crept out across the earth coming out of the Holy of Holies and powered by the astral jet and giant trees and all that stuff and a whole living breathing organism spread out across the earth and now it's gone the trees are chopped down and you they say you fell from uh, you fell from the trees like monkeys, you know, they're laughing at us because the core of your brain, if you look at any brain chart, you'll see it's reptilian at the core of your brain. It's responsible for fight or flight. You would be a slave class reptilian and you're the food class and you can't see it. And you'll laugh and say, oh, oh those videos that you post to reptilian eyes and blah, blah, blah. They, listen, this shit is real. You have a reptilian core to your brain. Zoom in on your own images of you when you were a child. Zoom in all those pictures and see if you can see. Like, take a picture of one of the eyes. Zoom in. Take another picture. Zoom in. Take another picture of that. Zoom in, like with your iPhone. And you'll see that nearly everybody has at least one slit in one of their eyes. So, surely we're not monkeys. But the core of our brains, being that we have that response mechanism called fight or flight, they're telling you that's the reptilian core to your brain, that you stem from a reptilian, okay, not a fucking monkey. So when you see Avatar and all that shit, what they look like reptilian type beings and stuff, that's exactly what they're rubbing in our face. And what I'm telling you, 
is at the center of the dish where every compass points to is where that creature originally crept out from. That's where heaven is. When we go through that hole at the center of the dish, when we pop out the other side, we'll see that this living creature is still alive on the other side. And it's a living giant being that's spread out across the earth. The astral light is coming out of that hole at the center of the dish and it would have spread out all across the earth creating this silica living being that spread out across the earth. And what I'm explaining to you is that you can see the remnants of this being that you are inside of right now. So it's one side of a light hole is a black hole. At the center of the dish is the Holy of Holies where the tree of life comes shooting out. That's where you need to get to before you're dead and drink from the living waters and you become superhuman like that. It's just that simple. A dog drinks from that water and the dog starts talking. Just like uh, they show in movies talking animals. Yeah, that's because they drank from this water here. And it's just like that. It's just that simple. I'm telling you, this place is a lot more interesting than you can imagine. So this living giant creature that crept out across the earth is still alive. When you go into the Holy of Holies, you will drink from that living water and you will live forever or you will get your way out of this matrix. It's just that simple, people, that you're inside of a giant living organism right now. And what I'm telling you is that the moon is sending down a square wave and it's keeping all this shit from growing back it's keeping your brain half shut off and you need to rise above that frequency somehow. And that's going to happen through gratitude and stuff like that. So I recommend you ponder on this information for a little bit. It's going to take a little bit to sink in. That the center of the dish is where the Holy Grail is. And that used to be where the Tree of Souls was. That giant tree that they knocked down. Now there's the, the astral light. It shoots up, hits the parabolic mirror, and showers down on us. What I'm telling you is at the center of the dish, there's something magical there. We need to get there. It's every compass points to it. And I'm going to keep pointing this out in every one of my fucking videos until people get it. That the tree of life is right over there. It's just that simple. It's a giant astral jet shooting out. When you go over there, you drink from the living waters. And you become a super being right there on the spot. Heaven on earth is at the center of the dish. It's right over there. Every compass points to it. So when people ask, where is that? Grab a compass. There's your yellow brick road. It's right there. That's your yellow brick road. You follow the compass to the center of the dish, and you get everlasting life. It's just that simple. If you look on the Ethernet, you're going to see Kate of Gaia. That this information that's been brought together is monumental and it shows how you're lost at sea, how the gold fringe around your flag tells you that you're in a foreign country, how you're saluting the wrong flag, you don't go to military school, there's no sandbags around your home or your or your children's school, you don't drive Humvees or carry machine guns, you've been pledging allegiance to the military industrial complex. When you were born they took your soul, they mailed it off to the Vatican, that's where the devil lives, look it up. Everybody knows the devil is at the Vatican, it's been published for the whole world to see. So these Motherfuckers have your soul. The last thing you're going to want to do is print off any documents, put your blood on them, and then send them off to the Vatican or any other place and give them some authority to make a decision whether you are or are not divine and are alive or not. All you want to do is just go to your YouTube search engine and type in blood over intent. Hit the search button and scroll down and look at all your brethren. They're spilling their blood over their intent on video to be bringing forth heaven and earth and publishing it side by side blood is thicker than water why would anybody do this because it turns out we're not on a fucking ball floating through space as an accident that this place is fixed that every compass is pointing to the holy grail where we get eternal life and everybody you know is fucking retarded and you're all alone so what you need to do is take your cell phone write out short get video of yourself writing out I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, those words specifically, put your blood on it, and publish it right beside the rest of ours. This is going to be your key into the Garden of Eden. You think I'm joking? Think again. 
It was my blood magic that got the Spear of Destiny. I know exactly where this place is. They know we're coming long before we even get there because we published it to the Ethernet. I recommend you type in your computer, Blood Over Intent. Hit Enter, scroll down, place your blood right beside the rest of ours. So listen, people. When you were born, they took a uh, footprint from you, off your soul, and it's in the vault at the Vatican. And you're lost at sea. You're officially dead. When you have sex with your spouse or anybody else, they're lost at sea. You're both necrophiliacs until you reclaim your soul. And I'm glad somebody pointed out the Kata Gaia thing because, you know, she points out that you need to make bloody thumbprints on papers and mail them out and then reclaim your divinity. But then you get home and you're all alone and there's you're all by yourself. And if you type in your computer blood over intent and hit enter and you scroll down, you see all of us taking back our divinity. Now the devil is at the Vatican, so since he has all your souls in there, um, and I have the spear of destiny, and I know where the Holy Grail is, I'm telling you, we're evicting these guys, and we're bringing forth heaven on earth. Just like they publish in the newspaper that you're being uh, foreclosed on in your home, that you're late and they're foreclosing, they publish it. I'm telling you, we've published this to the World Wide Web, and uh, I was given the spear of destiny. Now, I'm telling you, evil is when good people do nothing. If you don't go to blood over intent and put your blood beside my own, you're a necrophiliac, you're a necromancer, because you're dead and lost at sea, you're in Davy Jones's locker. You think you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. You're a stillborn, and uh, you have no eyes to see anything. So I'm informing you that uh, soon we'll be moving to the country. Okay, you see over here? Once you were kings who lived, and now you are working to live. And you see over here, move into the cunt tree, the quest I on. Every compass is pointing to the Holy Grail. You don't have to like it, but I'm explaining to you. In 2.6 years from November 8th, 2016, we will be drinking from the Holy Grail. And if your blood is not beside my own, you will not be allowed to pass into the Garden of Eden, which is the land of perpetual twilight. You don't have to like it. I'm informing you. It was my blood magic that got the spear, and I'm the only one who's going to be screaming out the Holy Grail shit. You're a pussy. So your life is literally in my hands. Uh, because you ain't making no videos, and I'm going to sit here making videos every day. Because you're a pussy. I recommend you place your blood beside my own. You can call me the Antichrist, I like that. You can call me the Prince of Darkness, you can call me Satan, whatever it is that makes you happy. But I assure you, I hold the fucking Spear of Destiny, and you ain't making no fucking videos. My hat's off to Devin Magdy. He's keeps, he keeps pushing those videos, showing you all the stuff he's able to dig up. Uh, I recommend you go type into your computer, Blood Over Intent, hit Devin Ma and scroll down, you see Devin Magdy. You'll see me and my... Be on the top at Jada Jackson's channel, and I'm explaining the holy hole and going over all this stuff. And uh, you see, Devin, he's digging up a lot of stuff. The I, the key is to keep your eyes on the prize. See, I'm alive. I know I am. I know I'm alive. And uh, if everybody else is lost at sea, then this world is mine. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. You're a fucking pussy. You're not even gonna. Wear a t-shirt, you're not going to post videos, you're just going to whine and complain and suggest that you're on a ball floating through space as an accident. It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. You don't have to like it. This world is mine, people. If I don't point out the Holy Grail, everybody's dead. You're all a bunch of pussies. You ain't going to do shit, are you? You ain't going to make no fucking videos. So listen, X marks the spot, the center of the dish. The reason that this compass that the Chinese made has a spoon in it, because when you get to the center, you're going to drink from the living waters. And you're going to become young again. It's just that simple. And you can see it's intertwined in all your shit. You see it every day. You're in the brick shit house right now. Out from the center comes the ash trailing light or the astral jet out of the black hole sun, which is bringing all your shit into fruition. I pricked my finger with a needle and I spilt my blood over my intent 
saying, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I published it to the Ethernet, and then I got the eyes to see I have the fucking Spear of Destiny. That if I don't make videos pointing out the obvious, then you're as good as food. Because these reptilian beings eat you and your children, and they suck on all your energy, and you play stupid. And I see it on everything. It, it's like here. It's right, it's right there on my mouse. X marks the spot. Okay? That's where we drink from the living waters, and we get eternal life. It's just that simple. It's right over there at the end of every compass. I'm explaining it to you that I can see it, and I'm going to scream it out over and over and over and over. It's right there at the center of your dish. You're rubbing it in your face. She's a brick house. That's what you're in. You're in Davy Jones' locker right now. If you want to get out or you want to become a super being, you need to get to where that compass points to and drink from the living waters. Okay, now the t-shirts people have been asking, all you have to do is email me, fucking retards. It's crazy. Some of you guys are so fucking dumb. I'm telling you, write on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your fucking blood on it and publish it beside my own under blood over intent. Or you're a fucking retard. It's clear I have the fucking spear of destiny. It doesn't matter what you believe. All I have to do is keep making videos pointing out the obvious. And guess what? It's rubbed in your face. We're going to get there. Because I wrote the future with my blood and I published it to the ethernet. And now I can see the future. It doesn't matter what you believe. All I have to do is make videos from the comfort of home. And uh, we will get there. So you don't have to like it when I call you a silly human slave, a fucking retard. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. You ain't going to make videos. And if I don't make them, you're as good as fucking dead. So take a look. You get summoned to court. You serve a summons because these people are lost at sea. Look up the 1936 Black's Law Dictionary. You'll see that you were a monster with no inheritable blood. You cannot be heir to any land because you're lost at sea. You're officially dead. You have no right to any land because you're dead. You're literally dead. They summon you to court because you're dead. You're a monster with no inheritable blood. You don't have to like it. Okay? So, by accident, what I did, or there are no accidents. I happened to spill my blood over my intent on 12-24-2013. 9 p.m. We uploaded the video. My wife did. And I came back to life shortly after. And I was given the Spear of Destiny. And I know where the Holy Grail is. Every compass needle is pointing to it. It's clear what's going on here. Everybody else besides us is lost at sea. They're officially dead. They have no right to any land. So when I spilled my blood over my intent, I came back to life. I got the Spear of Destiny. You don't have to like it. I'm not trying to rub anything in your face or anything. I'm telling you, if I don't make videos publishing this truth so that the whole world can see it you won't do it and everybody is dead it's just that simple if I don't make videos pointing at the Holy Grail you won't and that means that I have to because I see the fucking prize and what I'm telling you is when enough of us are side by side blood is thicker than water you'll see we can take back reality because everybody else is lost at sea. They're dead. So this is not a cult. Everybody else that says it is a cult is lost at sea. They're dead. They're lost at sea. They're summoned to court because they're dead. Their birth certificate is a death certificate. The devil has their soul in the fucking Vatican. Okay? It's clear who holds the Spear of Destiny. If I don't make videos, you're fucking dead. So if I make repeat video uploads or whatever, I have to because everybody's dead. If I don't do it, what the fuck? You're all being summoned to court because you're fucking dead. And I have to do this all by myself because everybody's fucking dead. Alright, I hope not, people. Blood over intent saves the universe because everybody's fucking dead. You don't see it yet? It's just as simple, people. If we don't make videos coming back to life, then the first person who did it got the Spirit of Destiny. Clearly, the world becomes mine. This is some biblical shit, people. Everybody's dead, and somehow we're alive, and we have the fucking Holy, uh, the holy Spear in our hands. We know it's our compass needle, and eventually, uh, we're going to get there. Okay? When I say we published it, and they're waiting for us, it's... What I'm telling you, the seas will fucking part for us. You'll see. I got the fucking Spear of Destiny. The seas are going to part for us. Everybody else is dead.
Don't fucking tell me, motherfuckers. How's it going? So if you search in your computer the golden age of Saturn, you'll see that it fits right in to the underworld where the green astral jet is coming out of the black hole sun. The sun above your head is a black hole. One side of it is a light hole, and it's on loop through the Holy of Holies at the center of the dish. The pillar or tree of life is shooting out from the hole where every compass points to. There is no way to mess this up. Now this pillar of light, the Aurora Borealis, which hits the parabolic mirror and showers down on us, this is conscious. As I mentioned in the previous video, this is the, the feminine spirit. That's why women hula hoop and do body dancing, belly dancing, it's because uh, it's a representation of the goddess. And what I'm telling you is that this, this is a conscious living being and it's connected with the ethernet. I know this to be true because I look at, when I look at the sun and I speak my intent, okay, the sun programs me to do stuff, and it makes me smarter, more intelligent, and it's showing me how to take back reality. You don't have to like it, but I can take back reality from the comfort of home, because I stand in truth, and all I have to do is look at the sun, and the sun gives me whatever I need mentally to carry my intent to fruition. So you see the seal of the one, the ring... And then you see the holy holy at the center of the dish. You see the symbols are telling you that you need to get to the center of the dish before you're dead. And I'm telling you that when you get there, if you want to get into the land of perpetual twilight, they won't let you in if your blood is not published beside my own. You want to write out on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Place your blood on it and then publish the video on YouTube titled Blood Over Intent, tag it Blood Over Intent, and description Blood Over Intent. This is going to be your key into the Garden of Eden. So listen, X marks the spot, the center of the dish. The reason that this compass that the Chinese made has a spoon in it, because when you get to the center, you're going to drink from the living waters, and you're going to become young again. It's just that simple. And you can see it's intertwined in all your shit. You see it every day. You're in the brick shit house right now. Out from the center comes the ash trailing light or the astral jet out of the black hole sun, which is bringing all your shit into fruition. I pricked my finger with a needle and I spilt my blood over my intent saying I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. I published it to the ethernet and then I got the eyes to see I have the fucking spear of destiny. That if I don't make videos pointing out the obvious, then you're as good as food because... These reptilian beings eat you and your children, and they suck on all your energy, and you play stupid. And I see it on everything. It, it's like here. It's right It's right here on my mouse. X marks the spot. Okay? That's where we drink from the living waters, and we get eternal life. It's just that simple. It's right over there at the end of every compass. I'm explaining it to you that I can see it, and I'm going to scream it out over and over and over and over. It's right there at the center of your dish. You're rubbing it in your face. She's a brick house. That's what you're in. You're in Davy Jones' locker right now. If you want to get out or you want to become a super being, you need to get to where that compass points to and drink from the living waters. Okay, now the t-shirts people have been asking, all you have to do is email me, fucking retards. It's crazy. Some of you guys are so fucking dumb. I'm telling you, write on a piece of paper, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your fucking blood on it and publish it beside my own under blood over intent. Or you're a fucking retard. It's clear I have the fucking spear of destiny. It doesn't matter what you believe. All I have to do is keep making videos pointing out the obvious. And guess what? It's rubbed in your face. We're going to get there. Because I wrote the future with my blood and I published it to the ethernet. And now I can see the future. It doesn't matter what you believe. All I have to do is make videos from the comfort of home. And uh, we will get there. So you don't have to like it when I call you a silly human slave, a fucking retard. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. You ain't going to make videos. And if I don't make them, you're as good as fucking dead. How's it going? Thanks for joining me. So, this is the mythical Spear of Destiny. And it's been put in your face for a reason. To keep you from the truth. The truth is, I hold the Spear of Destiny. It's my compass needle, and it's pointing to the Holy Grail. So, people ask me all the time, how in the world did you figure this out? Well, if you type into your computer, blood over intent, and hit enter, you'll see all of us spilling our blood. 
over our intent to be bringing forth heaven on earth. And I'm explaining to you that I spilled my blood over my intent and I published it to the ethernet. That's how I got the spear of destiny. So I see all you guys making videos and placing them beside my own, but if it doesn't say specifically, I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, that's the key that gets you into the Garden of Eden. You don't have to like it. But it was my blood magic that got the spear of destiny. So I'm informing you. You need to write on a piece of paper. I intend to bring forth heaven on earth. Spill your blood on it and publish it to YouTube titled Blood Over Intent, Tag It Blood Over Intent, and Description Blood Over Intent. There is no way to fuck this up. If I don't make videos pointing out the Holy Grail, everybody's dead. And uh, you don't have to like it, but everybody's lost at sea. And when I say this world is mine, my name is not Stephen Christ. You can call me the Prince of Darkness. You can call me the Antichrist. Hell, you can even call me Satan. And that's okay. But, uh, you know, when I get emails, people say I sound like Stephen Christ. That's funny. Go, go to Stephen Christ. See if he'll get you eternal life. You'll be a slave with a tattoo on you. Fucking retards. What you want to do is listen to me very carefully. You need to come with me if you want to live. I hold the fucking spear of destiny. The fate of the world's in my hands. And you don't have to like it. And you can leave messages, say I'm an arrogant son of a bitch. Listen to me. I spilt my blood over my intent to get you eternal life. And bring forth heaven on earth. Get your ass into the Garden of Eden and all kinds of cool stuff for you. What the fuck did you do? Complain? Leave a silly message how Jesus is going to save you? I assure you, Jesus can't save you. I have the fucking spear of destiny. And the fate of the world is in my hands because you're a fucking pussy. And you won't even make videos pointing at the Holy Grail. So let me rephrase this so you like it or something. I love you. I spilt my blood over my intent to be bringing forth heaven and earth. Go show me Stephen Christ's blood spilt over his intent. I love you. I do this for you and the fate of the world to bring forth heaven and earth. It's our destiny to get to the Garden of Eden and leave heaven in our wake here while we go to the Garden. So you don't have to like it, but I see the future because I wrote it myself with my own blood and I published it to the Ethernet. And um, I assure you, he who holds the spear holds the fate of the world for better or worse. And I've already chosen the fate of this world because... The second I got the Spear of Destiny, and I realized what I had, I programmed it. I programmed it, and nobody can stop it. Heaven's coming to Earth. If you look on the Ethernet, you're going to see Kate of Gaia. That this information that's been brought together is monumental and it shows how you're lost at sea, how the gold fringe around your flag tells you that you're in a foreign country, how you're saluting the wrong flag, you don't go to military school, there's no sandbags around your home or your, or your children's school, you don't drive Humvees or carry machine guns, you've been pledging allegiance to the military industrial complex. When you were born they took your soul, they mailed it off to the Vatican, that's where the devil lives, look it up. Everybody knows the devil is at the Vatican, it's been published for the whole world to see. So these motherfuckers have your soul. The last thing you're going to want to do is print off any documents, put your blood on them, and then send them off to the Vatican or any other place and give them some authority to make a decision whether you are or are not divine and are alive or not. All you want to do is just go to your YouTube search engine and type in blood over intent. Hit the search button and scroll down and look at all your brethren. They're spilling their blood over their intent on video to be bringing forth heaven and earth and publishing it side by side blood is thicker than water why would anybody do this because it turns out we're not on a fucking ball floating through space as an accident that this place is fixed that every compass is pointing to the holy grail where we get eternal life and everybody you know is fucking retarded and you're all alone so what you need to do is take your cell phone write out short get video of yourself writing out I intend to bring forth heaven on earth, those words specifically, put your blood on it, and publish it right beside the rest of ours. This is going to be your key into the Garden of Eden. You think I'm joking? Think again. It was my blood magic that got the Spear of Destiny. I know exactly where this place is. They know we're coming long before we even get there, because we published it to the Ethernet. I recommend you type in your computer, blood over intent. Hit enter, scroll down, place your blood right beside the rest of ours.